Let's mm, see the content. Mercy. Give me the content, Stanley. Give me the content, Stanley. Pump it into my eye hole, Stanley. Pump it in. I want the new content. Mm, feed me. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where today I'm really excited. This one actually came out of nowhere, or at least nowhere as far as I am concerned. Uh, today we're playing the Stanley Parable. Now, long, long, long time viewers of GT Live will know that we played the Stanley Parable as one of our, I think it's like one of our first, if not the first, full series that we did on the channel. I don't think it was the first. I think the first was Until Dawn, but... This might have been like our second main series on the channel uh, where we went through and it's it's one of those amazing games that is incredibly meta, incredibly thought provoking, uh, gets you, you know, where the game designer has really thought through the way people are going to play and enjoy the game and is commenting on that, subverting your expectations in a good way as opposed to kind of like the, the bad way it, it tends to, to get classified as nowadays. Um, and just really using the medium of gameplay to have this dialogue and this really interesting conversation back and forth with the player. To this day, one of my favorite games that we've ever played on the channel, one of the most memorable games I've played on the channel. It's, it's just fantastic, right? Uh, you have so many different endings to it. Uh, you, when you obey the narrator, th things happen. When you disobey the narrator, things happen. It's just an incredibly smart game. But apparently, uh, as Matt brought up to me, Earlier this week, last week, whatever it was, it it released a new version of it. I guess what 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 is this, man? I want to say it's like a DLC. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's called the deluxe version. Okay. Is the Stanley Parable? I think it's Ultra Deluxe. Ultra Deluxe. Stanley Parable. Yeah, Ultra Deluxe. Yeah. Yep. Um, that's like all I know. Okay. Uh, when I was here... So, again, Matt doing his stellar research. <laughs> well, when I... Again, this is so new that yeah. I, I wasn't able to find a lot of gameplay. Okay. Like, genuinely, I think everybody is currently still trying to figure out, like, what this game is. Okay, great. That's um, awesome. So I really don't have much background for you. Yeah, so we... Than, than it's it's new. Yeah, I, I mean, the fact that it's Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe makes me believe... I, I don't know. Did Stanley Parable ever come out on, like, console? Is it a console Oh, it port? is a console release. Is it a console thing? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, if I were to guess, right, seeing the name, knowing kind of where we are in the games industry right now, my guess would be that this is similar to what? Like, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus or something mm -hmm. like that, yeah. where it's the base game, now it's ported to consoles, but there's added elements to it for people, you know, who enjoyed it the first time to, to discover, find more, things like that. That would be my guess. Um, I make no promises. I don't know. I know the original Stanley Parable had a lot of endings. I will do my best to find new content. But you know what? If if we don't find new content, you know what? It's just a great way to revisit the Stanley Parable years after we did it the first time. Like it's it'll be a nice nostalgia trip if nothing else. I've never played this game. Oh, Matt, it's great. Yeah. I I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I guess I hope you enjoy watching me play it. <laughs> Uh, if, if you want to guide me, you're more than welcome to. Okay. Because, I mean, it's not it's not hard, right? You're you're listening to instructions and right. either doing or not. You're just exploring a world, right? Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll get to experience it together. I'll be curious to get your take on it because it was very memorable for me. Uh, and I'm excited to see what new stuff has been added to the formula now. So, anyway, without any further ado, let's just hop into it. Uh, I would expect us to not be talking too much because the narrator is very verbose in this. So uh, let's let's do it. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Also didn't want to start it prematurely because, again, this is a talkative game. I wouldn't be surprised if there was, like, dialogue at the very beginning. Crows, crows, crows. Crows, crows, crows did, um... Shoot, they're also the one that did... Were they involved with um, the Accounting Plus? I think they were. I think so. Uh, subtitles, English. Let's let's listen in Italiano. No, it's English. They did do Accounting Plus. Right, Accounting Plus, good. Mm -hmm. Have you played Stanley Parable 4? Yes, I have. Sorry, I'm going to say yes, man. Uh, fair enough. 
please adjust. Ooh, what is the current time, Matt? 11.05. 11. Not AM. There we go. Great. Set. Can I begin the game over there? No, I was I was hoping it like maybe if I did something over there. Again, just need to trying to troll the game or see what they can do. Okay. Field view, one handed invert. Great. Play resolution. Great. Yep. 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 Subtitles on. Your guess is as good as mine. We're gonna say yes, Matt. Okay. They did ask me for English or no subtitles, so I'm gonna say yes. This never ends. It's never the end. The end is never the end. The end is never the end. Okay. This is the story of a man named Stanley. I'm really excited. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee Ooh. 427 did. That's every definitely day, something to do. Every month. Hold escape for 35 year. seconds, like and on, on the keyboard. Might have considered it so ending. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came. It in. was definitely telling us to do something. They made exactly for this job, and Stanley was happy. That's great. Good for Stanley being happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. It's COVID. He's Something going through COVID. Something was very clearly wrong. <laughs> They're not having to go into the office. Frozen anymore. solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I will say it's really interesting to revisit this game. Post -co like, even the shot of, like, everyone in an office building. Like, that idea of, like, everyone going to an office building here in 2022 when everyone's been working from home for two plus years. You know, even, like, going into work at this point is, like, a day or two a week for a lot of companies. You know, it's not full weeks anymore. That, that traditional office environment has been so shattered at this point that looking at this with modern eyes is really interesting. All right. So... I'm gonna follow the instructions to begin with. I hate Mondays. I know, I, I believe one ending was if we stay in our office the whole time, but I'm gonna to wanna to go out. Also, I, I called it out while we were watching, but the instructions on the computer monitor, I don't remember that from the original game, but the fact that they showed his computer monitor and they're like, hold escape for X amount of time, press this button, press space bar, I have a feeling that's gonna lead us to an ending. So we'll have to like screen grab that or something. Okay, so he walked out of the office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I also remember that... No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I remember that there's an ending where you have to turn on the computers in a certain order, or turn them off in a certain order, and also jump out the window. Ah! Oh, I'm having this like flood of memories again. I, I want to play through traditionally though to begin with, and then we'll start messing around with it. Yeah, there's something about turning off the computers. I forget the order. I remember that we had to kind of use a walkthrough of everything the first time, because there's just so much to do. Oh, this is a great, it's like wrapping up. I'm getting that nostalgia blanket feeling right now. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna obey. <laughs> I 
Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Ooh, mergers, we're broke Wednesday. Office party! Do not alter without consulting. Yep. Oh, rip Franz. Poor Franz. I don't know who Franz was, but rest in peace, Franz. Complete today's unfinished agenda items. Reflect right next day's agenda and reflect. The future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. Not cost efficient. Standalone graphs. Standard graphs four times as wide. Yep, okay. Synder oh, you gotta synergize those papers. And then suddenly the papers are too synergized. The papers are going out of control. Okay. How not to get fired. Ooh, rates at which charts on the same slide depict the same information. It's going up. It's all up. Up and to the right. Oh, broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. We'll do that later. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Yeah, why not? Why not? I gotta go to the executive bathroom. To be rich is it a crime? To commit crimes isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have a, to pick just one. No one there. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley office. was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. <laughs> Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the <laughs> keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, the newly opened passageway. Secrets! There we go. What could be hiding down here? Stanley wondered. Stanley wondered. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Man, free will. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, we can escape. What do you think, Matt? Here, I'll give, I'll give you the choice, since you've never done this. Yeah. What, what, I, I've followed the instructions so far, and there are a lot of different ways that we can disobey up to this point. Right. But I'm, I'm curious. Here, I'm going to give you this choice. Mind Control or Escape? I want to see the Mind Control Facility. Okay, there it is. This is very super liminal to me right? yes yep mm -hmm. yeah it is it is very much like this inspired kind of the super liminal style mm -hmm. things like that yep 100 percent. good observation the lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens what horrible secret did this place hold stanley thought to himself did he have the strength to find out if i remember right there's a way to get to fall off the bridge Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Mm. 
deploy 427. That's my office right there. 427. Is this how you feel, Matt? Oh, I'm sorry. You don't know about the cameras that have me observing you the entire time. <laughs> well, that would require me to have coworkers in the office. <laughs> you have Ash now. <laughs> That's true. That's right. Between you and Ash. You just have two screens. Yeah, just two screens. This mind I can't afford all these independent screens. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Maybe that his happy. emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Mm. Free will, man. It's a tricky, it's a tricky, tricky, tricky subject. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? See, it's ironic because he's also a video game character, Matt. To see the layers that this is working on. Uh, it's a commentary on office life and modern society, but yeah. also a commentary on it being a video but game. Here was the proof. That's really smart. The smarter. heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. This is also an iconic moment in uh, GT Live history where I think this is the first of, of a very few number of times where I got so frustrated that I actually swore. <laughs> Because I was trying to concentrate on on what was being asked of me in the game, and yeah. Stephanie was trolling me. <laughs> it was in this. It was in this very room. Let's see. What's that say? Mind control apparatus is not. Activity. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, okay. he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. All right, Matt. On or off? I think we turn it off. You want to turn it off? Yeah, okay, I, you're going to follow? I trust the narrator. Okay. I, I like the timber in his voice. Right, he's very trustworthy. Yeah. Yeah. If I had a voice that sounded like that, I would voice over video games. You you would <laughs> that's well you would, then you would have competition because this guy's already got a lock on that. Yeah. Watch he, out, you're stepping into a crowded market. <laughs> he's really good. It's like, man, I got this other guy. This guy's already done all of these games. Who's yeah. this schmo? He's Come the in. Granny Smith of <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Call back. Call back. Call back. He is he's the Granny Smith. He's gonna the narrator is gonna come in and bust a cap. Timeline wise they'll get that. Yeah, they'll get that. They'll yeah. understand. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it nice when we record things in the order and then we can comment on things that have come before and then they're like, wait a minute, I get that too. It's kind of like Arrested Development where like the jokes build off of each other. It's amazing. Yeah, we're a lot like Arrested Development. We are. We are. <laughs> I'm blue. I'm going to paint myself blue and hide. It'd be great. All right, so you want to turn it off? Yeah. blackness, and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled that himself easy? from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Best gameplay we've ever done. Yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Hmm. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? That's great. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. It's true. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Sometimes you gotta do that. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, 
or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. It's great. Yeah, we've talked about this on GT Live when we were doing all the question and answer, like the, the quiz, uh, where it is. It's, you know, happiness versus interesting. Do you need to understand everything, or are you just happy existing in the moment? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. It's great. Right? Sometimes you don't need extra knowledge. We beat the game. Wow. Yeah. That's easy. <laughs> was it, though? Uh -huh. Was it easy? I mean, yeah, we, we just followed instructions. And... Oh. Oh, you oh. see how it works? You get it now? <laughs> you get it? It works on a lot of layers. Uh -huh. It's like, wait. I, I have freedom, and I turned off the mind control machine, but the whole time I was listening to this narrator dictating everything that I was doing. Layers, Matt! <laughs> La that's how the game gets ya! This is really impressive. Right? Yeah. And, and that's and that's just the start of it. Right. It's great. That's okay. just you well, playing the game. Can we can we disrupt the system now? Let's try. Let's try disrupting the system a little bit, shall we? Yeah. Uh, okay. So first off, I mean, your first choice is... I'm not leaving. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? Can't have that. He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. <laughs> the thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I just retreat. I will be happy. This is the COVID Stanley ending. Stanley waited. Just to hide. Hours passed. Just... Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. <laughs> now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes! There you go. <laughs> the reject everything, hide out, we're gonna be safe. So that's a, that's, I, that's a fun one. Uh, next up, let's see. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Let's see, there was something about, what's the order? Turn off that computer. Something with the computers. Is there anything from this playthrough that is new? I, you're asking as if I know. You don't remember? You put, wait, is there anything in this playthrough that's new? Oh. Yeah, have we seen anything thus far that you haven't seen before? No. Okay. Not yet. I Like I said, the, um, the, that thing at the beginning, with the the computer mm, and what it said on the computer. I don't remember that and I don't really remember doing that. Okay. So we can restart and I, like if we can screen grab that mm. or is there a playthrough here? Will I do this? Yeah. Will you look to see if there's are any playthroughs where you can just grab that opening cutscene moment and tell me what to do? Okay. As, as the narrator, please tell me what to do. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. You think, narrator. I started, I, I, I started this process. I know you have to do this like five times, and then it, and then something happens there. Bring it back here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do broom closet. Well, Matt gets me the answer I'm looking for. Yet there was not a single person here either. 
Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Is there anything new in here? Because because the broom closet ending is one of the most memorable endings to me in that initial game. I'm wondering if there's anything that you can, like, off of the knowledge of, like, oh, if I wait in here at the broom closet. I guess not. I guess not. Okay. I'll just sit and wait. I've got your instructions. Yeah? What's it say? <clears throat> Press escape for 35 milliseconds. Oh, no. Oh, Press shoot. I. Oh, no. Maybe this isn't it, then. Press I for 12 milliseconds. Okay. MS is millisecond, correct? MS? Yeah, yeah it would be milliseconds, okay. yeah. Yeah, it's all in milliseconds. Okay. So, so maybe it's just press timing. them in order, though. Could be. It could just be, like, press them. So and what is it? Shot. Escape, I. Uh, escape, I, space bar, M, J. I, space bar? Yep. M, J. Shoot. That's it? No. Maybe it has to be at the beginning during a cutscene or something. Maybe. That feels specific, doesn't it? Yeah. That feels specific. Maybe it has to be at his computer monitor. Mm. <coughs> Here, let's try that. Actually. Escape. You said escape. I. I. Space bar. M. J. J. Shoot. Nope. Oh, come on. Let's quit to menu. There's got to be a way to do this. Here, let's let the cutscene load. This is the story so it's escape. of a man named Stanley. I, spacebar. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, spacebar. And Stanley J. worked for a company in a big building where he was. It's gonna work, Matt. It's gonna work. I'm determined. Maybe it's when it's on computer. 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. That's Orders good. came to him yeah. through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them. Press escape. escape. Okay. 35, press I, spacebar, mm -hmm. and in what order. MJ. This is what employee 427 did every day. Because there's no way that you're holding like every year. it for 35 milliseconds. There's no way they expect you to be like, oh, it's 30, that's 35 milliseconds. Stanley relished every Maybe. moment that the orders came in. Maybe if you're so late enough. I'm not late enough. No, curse my lack of leetness. Uh, I need to be more late. Ah! Something that shoot. Thirty-five milliseconds. Very peculiar. Okay, we'll let this keep running. Something that would forever change. Actually, no. I want to go quit the menu again. How do I become more elite, Matt? Yeah. There's got to be something there. There, very clearly, that is a message to us on how to do this. Right? Right? Yeah. How do you precisely press the outside of? I mean, maybe it's like a story of a because I know task tools, a tool assisted speed runs, right? They let you. All of his coworkers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm curious about the escape hatch. No matter hatch. how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. That's funny. So I got the you can't jump achievement, which is funny because jump is... It's, it's an action that they give you, but you can't jump. I think that's funny. There we go. At I jumped first, out the window. Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary <laughs> into the nature of video game structure Brilliant. and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Ah, 
Then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that <laughs> answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now, think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Absolutely, yes. Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. <laughs> but the other option is even longer. How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky we ones. We are. We are one of the lucky ones. If another option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. <laughs> well, now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. It's amazing. I love it. It's so good. It's it's brilliant. When I first saw this, and it's like, oh, the game thought through this. This is amazing. Blowing my mind. Uh, okay. And just to give you some color commentary, Matt, this is a game where one of the endings is achieved by clicking a button for like four hours. Wow. Yeah. Because this is the guy that did um that other game. Yep. The, the other game. What's that one called? Like, like... The image of it was a street light. It was like a theater. It was all about the nature of gameplay. Yeah, it was about his, like, friend. The... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What yeah. was it? Yeah. Shoot! No! What's the name of it? It was kind of generic as a name, wasn't it? It was like the Beginner or something. Yeah, Beginner's Guide. Yeah. Beginner's Guide. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's the same guy. Uh-huh. Okay. That's exactly it. Okay. Is there new content? There, clearly, there's got to be new content here. They asked if we had played the Stanley Parable before, so they know that we are looking for new content. So, Matt, do you have a guide to any new ending? Um, which would be great, because sure I can I can play around with this. That's fine. But it's also going to be recycling a lot of stuff that they've seen before. Yeah, let's let's find the new stuff. Yeah, I'd love I'd love to at least get one new ending. So, we've seen, like, the straight ending. You've seen two of the kind of, like, we not weird endings, but, like, Two of the alternative endings of like stay in the room, jump out the window, which are two two personal favorites of mine. Oh, phone's ringing. Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Yes. Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Future I don't remember that. Unless that's just a, a forgettable ending, but I do not remember that one. So that's interesting. I'm assuming that at some point when we restart, it's going to give us uh, a bunch of boxes in here, which is cool. All right, so that's building up that ending. Cool. All right, Matt, what you got? Uh, so go to room 416. 416? Yes. Yes. Here I am. Is there a door near you that looks open? I mean, like... Mm. So I believe at some point a door appears. Okay. Here. Here, and that's how you start. So we got to... new content. Play through a couple t more times? I believe so. Okay. When Stanley came to a set Here. of two open doors... We're going to go to the left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. We're going to well. do the disobey. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. <laughs> it had really been worth the detour after all. It was. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It's beautiful. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. No, go forward. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Disagree! 
Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Do not lie, you are lying right now. Stop. Do not jump from the cargo lift. This will cause death. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh, this... Hey, look, things have changed. My... I'm still 427, but the office is different now. Uh. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hey. Ooh, hello. Welcome to the whiteboard ending. Dog mode? I want dog mode. Can it all be dog mode? Yes! <laughs> What's dog mode gonna do? Does everything become a dog sound? <laughs> Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> so I'm just gonna click dog mode, because I don't- so I know the whiteboard ending was a thing. I don't remember the specifics of it, though, so... And I don't remember dog mode either, so maybe I forgot it, or that this is new. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Disagree. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wait. I heard a dog. Oh, anytime I click something that's not interactable, I get to I get to bark. <laughs> Best mode ever. That's all you need. <laughs> wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. I want drinks! Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. Great. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Disagree! I'm gonna bark in your face, narrator! Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> There's an echo on the dog bark. Yeah, oh, absolutely. That's, that's attention to detail right there. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. It's true. Well, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay. What, what would you like? What would you like, narrator? What, what do you want? What do you want me to do? You have a chance. I'll give you a chance. If I had listened to your instructions, though, I never would have discovered dog mode, so, you now know. Now listen carefully, this is important. Okay. Stanley walked through the red door. Here, we'll listen to him. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. <laughs> Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Oh, hello. Hmm. What do we want? 
What are we looking for? Hmm? Nothing backwards. Here. Yes. Ooh. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> if we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Oh. I actually feel happy. <laughs> oh, it's nice to have a happy game. Where kids aren't dying and things aren't jumping in our face to kill us. We're just existing and watching the beautiful things fly away. Where the narrator's happy, where Stanley's happy, and there's no death and destruction. No twisted monsters that we're running away from. It's beautiful. Oh. It's very satisfying. Are you satisfied, Matt? I'm a little concerned. Are you concerned? I mean, if I walked into a room and I saw this. It's called, this is just called a planetarium, man. <laughs> Have you ever been to a planetarium? <laughs> this is what planetariums do, man. Ooh, we got some green stuff now. Nice! Can we jump off the edge? Sure. <laughs> of course, Matt. Of course we can. No, wait. Where are you going? <laughs> Bark! <laughs> What's that? Cool, little picture. Nice. Oh no, stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. I'm thinking, what do you want, Matt? Go down the stairs? Yeah, we should kill ourselves. Yeah, you want to jump or? Yeah. Okay. No! Oh, thank God. It. <laughs> right, it's great. I worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? We should probably try again, right? <laughs> probably. No. I'm surprised no, no, that we no. can what are you doing, climb stairs. Please, I, right, it's I'm impressive. you yeah. not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? What was he before? It's a theory. That's a game theory. I actually don't know. That's a, it's interesting that he brings that up. Stanley, <laughs> let's go it's back brutal. to the other room. Can you do that you for have me? To keep doing it. <laughs> I am slower now. Oh my God, is this really how much you dislike my game? Oh. That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Oh. Am I reading the situation correctly? No, no. I just want to get all the endings. <laughs> I just want to see all the endings of the game. Nothing against you. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I feel so bad for him. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. So sad. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. It's brutal. So sad. It's so funny how it's it's so simple, and yet already I feel, like, really bad for the narrator. <laughs> like, I feel really bad. Like, he's, you know, and, and it's interesting now, because when we first played this game, I immediately disobeyed him, because that's the way I play games. I just immediately try to, like, go off on my own thing, and I don't care about the storyline that's being outlined for me. It took me a while to get to the true ending of that game. And to see... It as the first thing that you see and, and see like, oh, he is trying to lead you to happiness and he is trying to lead you to a world where you don't have to question everything that's going on. I think that's really cool because it kind of subvert you expect like, oh, the, the narrator is actually manipulating everything behind the scenes. And, and yeah, that's part of the point. But he is leading you to a place where Stanley is happy, which is really cool. And he's doing his job. And so the narrator is happy, too. And so the idea of free will and choice, like, is it actually making you happier? I don't know. It's... It's really interesting. So to start with that context and then actively disobey the narrator through all these choices is an interesting way to absorb this narrative now. I feel like I have a different read on it. This is over. Oh, well. Sorry. <laughs> no one care. What's your read? I feel like having, like, seen the free will ending at the beginning yeah. makes me doubt the narrator even more. Really? Interesting. Because it's the whole idea of, like... He's telling you that you had free will, but he's telling you still what to do. Sure. Uh -huh. So, like, 
after playing through that ending, yeah. I want to rebel. Because yeah. I'm like, well, huh. you're still telling me what to do. Yeah. So I hate him. Really? <laughs> That's fascinating. Because to me, I see it as like, oh, he was nice. He guided us to a yeah. good ending where we were able to turn off the mind control machine. And yeah, sure, he was guiding us, mm -hmm. but he was the narrator, right? Like, it didn't feel like he was actively controlling my decisions. I actively chose, like when I was given a left and right, I actively chose to follow him. So mm. even though he was telling me what to do, I was still the final person in control of that decision. But the only way to get there was to to obey him. Right. It's, right? So. It's in, it works on a lot of layers, and there's a lot of different ways to kind of appreciate it and, and interpret it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. So you're saying that at some point, room 416 is going to change? Yes. Okay. Correct. Well, the, uh, there will be a room next to room 416. Okay. There's a room next to 416. Okay. And it's just keep looping until we get there? I believe so. Okay. Just want to make sure that the computer's up. Great. Okay. Whoa! Hey! New content! Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, new content? <laughs> what does that mean, new content? Ah, yes! Oh, I'm very excited about this. Ooh! Oh, look at us riding through the new content! A little conveyor belt ride through the new con. Now you don't see. Now I don't even get to make a Hello, choice. And thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Oh, this is fun. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. <laughs> Okay. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable. More game. audiences the world over. It's true. That's how I feel. I'm that smi yellow smiley face. Please step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in <laughs> the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. Oh, they got the same. I'm very excited thing. to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. That's great. I love it when video games do the, like the the ride aesthetic. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Oh, I hope it's just like absolute garbage the entire time. Just to show that like I'm um, just eager for whatever. Is it broken? What's going on here? Should we should we be moving somewhere or up? Oh, oh, there we go. All right, finally, <laughs> at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Let's go! New content, let's go! Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. <laughs> it's as if them. Um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Mostly Give me the content, Stanley. Give me the content, Stanley. Pump it into my eye hole, Stanley. Bump it in! I want the new content! Urgh, feed me! Ooh, hello. All right. All right, let's see. It's this the jump circle. Oh, we can now jump! Look, we get 36 jumps available to us. Yes! Yes, let's go! All about them jumps, man! Don't waste them. This is it. Wait, if I step out of the circle, I can no longer jump. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think we should hold on to him. You, you want to save our jumps? Yeah. Are you he's... sure? Is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There what has to be something mean? else, right? Are you sure? I think we should use these okay, jumps, yeah, man. I think we got to use up. these jumps. Okay. Use them. Otherwise, you're going to lose them, man. Yeah. 
Trust me, I'm I'm all aboard the saving. Do I get a double jump? I do not. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is so satisfying. This is why I've been wanting out of a video game experience right now. It is like really satisfying. It is. Having not had the ability to jump previously. Yeah, it's like, yes. <laughs> That was great. Once, now that I've had a taste of jumping, I just want more jumps. I just want more jumps. I want all the jumps. Oh, that was great. It's like scratching an itch. Yeah. Or like standing up on a plane. Yes. Suddenly everything flows again and you're like, oh, this is a relief. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. What are you expecting? Just Two whole elevators? elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? It's 2022 new narrator. Content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Oh. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, <laughs> now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if, oh wait, there's more. Very good, yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. we got oh thank you for enjoying that's it oh you've got to be kidding me you see stanley this is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, okay. and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. <laughs> Quality Assurance Department signed off on this. I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them <laughs> personally Cancel! Cancel! Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around yeah. the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? <laughs> huh. Ooh! It is different again! Oh, I'm curious. This is definitely different. Definitely new. I don't think- I don't remember this ever happening in the original game. Stanley, come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. Yeah, I'll, me, me and narrator going through it. Part of me wants to disobey just to see what happens, but yeah, let's let's do it. This is definitely new. Coffee nut. There you go. All the new content. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe <laughs> content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Ooh. Just our little secret. Take a look. No! We're gonna play Elden Ring now! Stanley Parable Elden Ring Edition! Ooh, hello. I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Great. Let's go down memory lane. I love that anything that's nostalgic is always like, you're out in a green field. Experience, it's, it's like uh, Farmer Thanos at the end of, of Infinity Wars. So this is my life. This is what peace actually means, the memory zone. Does Infinity War end with Thanos being a farmer? Yeah. Really? I think that's not a joke. No. <laughs> you would know if you actually you know bothered to engage in the cultural mediums. That's that. really funny. Yeah, it is. It's great. <laughs> It's Farmer Thanos, man. 
You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. <laughs> oh, the state. Oh, wow. Collector's edition. Oh, look at the lockdown memory lane audience award. Stanley Parable. Independent Games Fest. Stanley Parable, the British Academy of Films and Television Arts. <laughs> Goes to Stanley. Instead of The Last of Us. <laughs> Screw you, Last of Us. Stanley Parable takes the win. Oh, good times. Yeah. Just like the good old days. The original remake. I love it. The original remake. <laughs> oh, remade and remade again. Oh, you buy postcards. This is wonderful. Our first kiss. My first car. The release of Stanley Parable. No. Zone, sweet zone. Oh, yeah. Loving memory. Here we go. Can we play the original? Because I really want to play the I don't want to play this cheap ripoff. I want to play the original Stanley Parable. Ooh, the demo. Nice. It's impossible to get this achievement. <laughs> don't play for five years. Yeah, that's another one. Uh, there's a, an achievement that you get for the Stanley Parable by not playing it for five years. That's crazy. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. I don't think I've achieved that yet, actually. I think I've played it within the last five years. There's a nominee. Now you gotta wait another five years. Clearly to get the achievement for this one. Yeah. Knowing knowing this game, they probably made it like 10. This is probably like 10 years. That's the extra content, is wait 10 years to play this game. Oh, nice. Stanley Parable deals tough choices. Here we go. Oh, hello. Oh, little Stanley. Oh, little Stanley. <laughs> and over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. Hey! James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, well done. Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. <laughs> it, was it was all of them. them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. Oh. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Hmm. I'm curious. I'm curious how much new, new, cont new content there is in the actual new content. Because a lot of times, a lot of these remakes and stuff will like paper over the fact that they're, they're like, oh, there's not a lot here. We didn't do a whole lot. By acknowledging it like it's it's the acknowledgement of it that kind of makes it an apology for that there's not enough there but then it's like oh it's okay it's and this is a game that plays with that idea it's really interesting because there's it, it works on a lot of layers also just portal just a picture of portal <laughs> Ooh, let's check out the basement Ooh, ma maintenance nope My Minecraft. The tasteful nostalgic. It was good. Ooh, person of the year. My blurry image in a mirror. Nice. It looks like pet scout. Here's another moving passage. This time from GameSpot.com. 
The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices <laughs> I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. What was that? It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. The greatest wealth is in memory. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Oh! This is open now. Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? <laughs> Ooh, hello. Oh no. Oh god, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video <laughs> game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. Oh no. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Steam Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh no! Oh no, we're going to the dark side. Oh no, what a twist. Not recommended, okay. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and oh, no. funny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny. <laughs> I'm, trying funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh, that's funny. Oh, this is... okay. So now we're going off the rails, huh? Oh, that's really funny. The Steam reviews all... Narrator, you don't want to go down there. I, no matter how good your game is, you, you, don't want to, you don't want to suffer through that. That's a dark, dark place. The comments are, are a very scary thing. Oh yeah, it's getting dark. All right, let's head down. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is great. What a great game. Oh, my review is gonna get wet out in the rain. I feel like I should put up an umbrella. Look at all this. Ooh, hello. Okay, let's see what this one says. Oh, no. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. <laughs> you can't know how much fluff I cut from the game. Oh, it sure. feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. Oh no. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. <laughs> I feel like a failure. Oh. Like I let these people know. Oh, it's a great Perhaps game. the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. It was, I mean, here's the thing. Regardless of. It, and again, this is, it's interesting again to revisit this game in 2022, and I'm sure that this is partly a commentary on this, but like, this was very different at the time that it was released. This was a very different gaming landscape, and the idea of this sort of meta commentary with games talking back to you and out thinking the player and thinking through what the player is going to do and then being like three steps ahead, it, it's great. Since then, meta-ness and self-awareness is the order of the day. So revisiting Stanley Parable in 2022, you kind of lose the, the historical context of what this game meant for the games industry in a lot of ways, the, that this had never been done before. And that breaking of the fourth wall was so unique. Uh, and so, yeah, if, if you are just a player who had no idea about the history of this game and, and went back to it and are playing it as a new experience in 2022, you'd be like, yeah, what's so special about this? I don't get it. I will say it is a very good version of it. it and the narrator's right in saying like, oh, we were terse, we got to the point. Yes, 100%. I think the way that they do it is smart in a way that a lot of other games overblow it, beat it over the head, or 
don't vary the message in enough ways or explore the topic in as many ways. So I think that this is a great consolidated, concise version of that message and of that kind of meta gameplay experience. But you do lose a little bit of specialness now that it is kind of the order of the day in the games industry to constantly be self-aware, constantly be self-deprecating, you know, is, are your choices your own? Ba ba ba! Isn't that a joke? Or we're, we are a video game. We know this, and we're making a, a play off of that. So it's it's a very interesting uh, way to explore or re-experience the game. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 Ten hours on record too. To stop doing anything, so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. Ka. Huh. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. <laughs> Great. It is. What's behind here, real quick? Anything? Nope. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. I'm gonna let it run. If the people want silence, then by I'm goodness, gonna listen to that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. I'm going Go to. ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable <laughs> monologue. And it goes something like this. The story and the choices are what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah 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 We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction there's, there's becomes impossible There's definitely an achievement, I'm sure, for getting through all this. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until we just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. You just the read the only dictionary. thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than okay. forever ago? Which is why I say... The story and the choices are huh. what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of yeah, time, okay, so it's repeating. at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much and yeah, it okay, can't we'll be Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. I heard most of it until it repeated. It was great. What your best work? But if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. <laughs> or maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can okay. tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is that any choice you've mm. ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice okay, into... We'll skip it. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie Nine will say about this. <laughs> Suck on that, Cookie Nine! Of their Steam review, They're not going to change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. Good point, place. I'm not sure. I Let's guess see. I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing to check on before I went about this whole exercise of making the skip button. Although I have to imagine that after seeing okay. this skip. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 
30, 45 minutes? Oh, jeez. It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on to myself about. I know it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press okay, the button again. Back. I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just, wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Oh, no! Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. I, there How was. else would we have gotten into the room? Oh, in the no, first we're place? Gonna skip. I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? I do not. A sufficiently large crack in the wall? I'll nope. take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to skip. please step away from the skip button we to go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? <laughs> Where there was? Where did it go? Can you maybe just ram your way through a wall? Ugh. Is there any Ugh. possibility that you could, say, slam your body into the wall until enough Try damage it. is done for you to be able to leave? Try it. Please, I'll take any option. It's of like an illusory wall I'm with like 9,000 HP in the Elden Ring. I, we need a door. We need a door of some kind. I can work with any kind of door as long as it can open and lead okay, from... Skip. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! <laughs> oh, no! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer, and my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times, and there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you... And the button, and if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. All right, we can press again. Oh, Stanley! You're oh no, think the lights are burning you're out. Back. Oh my goodness! I have someone to talk to again. Sorry, bud. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week, <laughs> or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time, oh. just sitting here, not a single person to speak with. Oh, poor narrator. And you think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking, and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't, Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I need... I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I don't want to leave him alone trapped oh. in this room. Hello, it's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. <laughs> to begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days. Months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapsed down into a It would be weird instant. for this to, so it's in interesting, right? It would be I weird for this to loop clearly. in a way um, that the first one did. The first one looped because he was just rambling and doing like a, a dumb monologue. Here though, I feel like I was consumed by it would be I weird for it to loop. It would take a long time for it to loop. Like so, for the sake for of time, I'm yeah, I think we're pressing this. Yeah, yeah I, skip, I know we're playing skip as much as yeah. Revelation. The narrator died. It was so long; he just died. And the door was there the whole time. It's weird to not have the narrator, actually. Huh. What's that sound? Is that the button? Hmm. Oh, it's movement sensor alarm? Oh, I can't reach it. All right, we're just gonna skip that one. 
Nope. But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't <laughs> enough. They had to leave a pathetic... Bye. <laughs> oh, wow. We have to skip a lot, don't we? The end is never 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 the end stuff's leaking the room's gonna crumble the end is never the end is never the end is never the end There it is. No, oh no, the wall, well, no, the ceiling. See, that's what water damage is gonna do for you. Yeah, th that water was leaking. I knew something bad was gonna happen, and there it is. Oh, man, now we gotta get a contractor over here, fix it. Otherwise, what are we gonna do? Oh, daylight. Oh, we're so glad the pipes, you can do it. If only there was a jump button. If only we hadn't wasted all of our jumps. No, we can jump out of here. If only we had two jumps left. Ooh, nature's reclaiming itself. That's exciting. No, nature, you're gone. Nature was reclaiming itself. Ooh, spooky. Look at all this new content we're getting. So much new content. All the content. Actually, it's descending into Slender Man status now. Oh no, my button fell! Oh, that's a bad sign. Hey. Ooh, I can leave. Or I could skip. Can I skip again? I cannot. Okay. <laughs> I, th I thought maybe there was a choice here of like, you can leave or you can keep skipping ahead. Oh, wow. On top of the building. Just curious. I cannot. Oh, yeah, maybe a little bit. Go off into the landscape. I've made my choice, and my choice is the desert. Beautiful. Really? No, I mean, I guess the narrator's gone at that point. Huh. Very interesting. All right. Well, there, there's some of the new content. Part of me wonders if we let it run the whole time. Would every single instance loop? Would every single one loop or would it eventually open up something new? I can tell you we are at the top of the iceberg of new content. I'm, really? There's much, much more. Does it go deep? Yeah. Okay. Well, good. That's exciting. Well, that's a good way to start. Mm -hmm. uh, so that I feel like we've gotten some, a revisit of some old stuff. We got to see the tip of the iceberg for new stuff. You know, otherwise it's just a cheap hollow cash grab, right? As as they said. And and again, like, I didn't expect this game to have that. So the fact that they're acknowledging it, the fact that it seems like there's going to be a lot here, uh, you can bet that we will be back to play more of this and get to hang out with the narrator a bit more. So that's very exciting to hear that we're at the tip of the iceberg. The Stanley Bearable Iceberg! Uh, so in the meantime, guys, thank you for revisiting this classic. I hope that you stick around to revisit what new stuff it has to offer us because I'm excited to play through it with you. And uh, in the meantime, as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video, a video for you. Don't skip. You can press subscribe, but don't press the skip button. Bye. See ya. Mm.